Well, guys, it now seems the civil service is joining every other Labour-backed union in striking with more plans to be announced before and after the Labour Party conference, you know, for anyone who still thinks this ain't all party political bullshit. These unions and Labour clearly smell blood in the water following the coup that took down Boris Johnson while using their members' wish for higher wages to do it. This is not organic and these union bosses are no better than the politicians in my mind, but the civil service threatening to strike did make me laugh, I've gotta say. I mean, when I first see it, my instant thought was, would we even bloody notice them being on strike because I actually doubt we would. Ain't most of them still working from home, so what are they now, striking from home or something, or will they go into the office and not do any work like they seem to have been doing from home for the past two years? This is a question these unions need to ask before they announce these strikes and all of these things there. The same is actually true for Royal Mail also, because for me it means less than nothing. I don't use Royal Mail for anything that I can think of in this day and age, so them going on strike literally means jack shit. Well, it means the staff might lose their job as the company decides to automate its processes to protect against this sort of crap in future, but the public won't be too affected by it, I would bet. The civil service doing it though really is laughable considering how little the public bloody likes them anyway and the fact they seem to do sweet fuck all when they ain't on strike so what difference is it really gonna make? Where are 